Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogunwusi, says it is worthy to celebrate women for their social, cultural and political roles in affecting positive changes in the society. The monarch said this during an empowerment program for persons living with disabilities on March 8th, the day set aside to mark International Women's Day. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Olasukomi Ogumuko, completes the story. According to the Imperial Majesty, no one should be discriminated against irrespective of the physical structure or gender. He said this during an empowerment program for women and persons with disabilities as part of events to commemorate the International Women's Day in Oni of Ife's palace. One of the persons with disabilities, an ND1 student of banking and finance at Yaba Polytechnic, Deborah Temitope, was lucky to receive offer of scholarship to complete her education. She also received a laptop, cash gift, and many other numerous gifts for her performance at the event. Others who displayed various degrees of outstanding performance in different competitions organized for them at the palace were presented with various gifts in cash and kind and were also motivated with words of encouragement by moderators and panel at the competition. Addressing newsmen, the organizer of the initiative, Peju Oke, commended Oba Ogunusi for supporting the initiative. She described persons with disabilities as unique people who require a push to fully unnest their potentials. She called on individuals and government to make it a priority to ensure that their acceptance in society, like their counterparts abroad, is not negotiated. According to one of the instructors, Benita Folabi, she explained that the gesture which is continuous is to make the participant productive and self-reliant. A particular woman, they are our mother. They are the essence of our existence. And so therefore we have to celebrate them. Today's Women's International Day is tied particularly to women in disability. We want to let the world know that there is ability in disability. And by so doing, we want to encourage a lot of women particularly that are in disabled condition, for them to know that indeed we remember them, indeed we have to continue to celebrate them and honor them. So my message to all mothers is today we remember you, we should be celebrating you every day, not only today, and you will continue to guide and protect each and every community, each and every state, each and every nation, that you are the backbone. Because you are the backbone, you are the bedrock of all of us. So we celebrate you today, and we celebrate all mothers across the board. God bless our their country, and God bless the people of our country, and particularly, God bless all our mothers. Because you fail one time doesn't mean you are a failure. You just keep trying and you will get to the, you know, to the top of it. So right now I'm happy because I'm celebrating unique people that God created. These people are unique. They are God unique and wonderfully made creation. So we have to celebrate them, we have to accept them, we have to love them. We don't have to condemn them because they have one uh, deformation one way or the other. No, they are not. We can see the kind of talent that these people possess. So if we can see this kind of talent in them, all we need, they just need a little push up. We all experience pain and in life. Everybody is saying this I have disability within them. Even normal people. It may be physically in some people. And it may not be physically in some people. But don't give up. Continue. Be who you are. Don't be ashamed. I was not a shy person. But I got through it with God. And, I'm, and everybody in this life will have God. If you have God and if you 
I'll dedicate them to whatever you are doing in life. We get the answer determined. Because determination is patient. That is all we need in life to get ahead. If every Nigerian would do their own little bit, the world would be a better place. Like I said, I once have trained a special child who was deaf. Femi is my shelf. He was my friend because I had him at my early stage in marriage. So he was a friend, he was a cook. Femi is deaf, he drives so well. And each time I see him, I feel there is so much to do with children with special needs. I call them special needs. I don't call them disabled. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.